James Cameron. You all know who he is, right? Avatar, right? When he was interviewed, he made a statement and he said that, you know, my way of, of success is that I set really, really lofty goals. So if I fall a bit short, I'm still doing okay. Makes sense, right? But here's the thing. James Cameron is not a goal setter, so to speak. He's a visionary. There's a huge difference. The biggest difference I see with people that really succeed in life are the ones that have something that beyond the goal, it's their vision for the future. There's an entirely different level of commitment when you're a visionary. So when you're a visionary and you can get excited about something and really get your thoughts out across to somebody else, how much do you think he had to raise to get Avatar done? First, he put in about 200 million of his own money, 200 million of his own money. Then he had to go out and raise like $900 million more. You can't raise money like that. I don't care if you're James Cameron or anybody, unless A, you are creating a vision for somebody. It can't just be like, I want you to invest in Avatar because it's going to be a great movie. There's a different level above that where you describe the way things look, what they're going to make people feel like, what it's going to sound like, an entirely new world. He created a new world. That's how you raise money for something, by being a visionary. You can't, people will never buy into your goals. You understand what I'm saying here? If you want to get ahead in life, you're going to need other people to want to come along for the ride, to want to buy into your vision with their time or their money. Their time or their money or both. People don't buy into goals. Your goals are your own. You can't sell someone else on your goals. But everybody is thirsty for a vision. People will buy into your vision because they don't have their own. Most people do not have a vision. They go around, and we were taught because this great tape came out in like 1959 called The Strangest Secret by a man named Earl Nightingale, and it was powerful. Anyone here listen to The Strangest Secret? I suggest you do. It's very old, and a lot of it's outdated because what's happened is the language, the language, we're going to get into language a bit later when we go to language patterns, the language has lost its power. What The Strangest Secret really talks about is setting goals and that you are what you think about. You become what you think about. And by setting a goal, you're essentially activating your conscious mind to focus on a certain outcome. Because of that, you will take actions to move in the direction of that outcome. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Okay. So what happens is you set your goals and you move towards them, right? The problem is, is that 40 years ago, or four, it's almost 50 years ago now, we become a society where the word goal is like a buzzword for failure. I'm goal-oriented. What the hell does that mean? Everybody and their grandma has a goal. And they're mostly full of crap. Goals are discarded. I set a goal, I discard it. I set a goal, I discard it. I'm going to tell you to set goals. But what I want you to do, what I implore you to do, is you have to have something on top of your goal, which is your vision for the future. And that goes far beyond what your goals are. You're going to have goals that are stepping stones along the way. That's all your goals are. Your vision is where you live. It's what you must have. The least powerful word, the most disempowering word in the English language is this. This is the word of losers. You ready for it? I'm going to give it to you. It is the stupidest word in the entire English language. You want to know what the word is? Very simple. should. It's the dumbest, most ridiculous, most disempowering word in your vocabulary. Tell me what you should do. What should you do? It's the most, it's like, it's a, it's a word, well, I really should do this. I really should. It's crap. If you want to succeed in life and this word is attached to any goal you have or any action you should take, it is worthless and self-defeating. Knock this word out of your vocabulary. What's the word? Who knows the word? Anyone know? Will or must.